in the midst of mountains, breathing in the freshest of air and just soaking in the sights and sounds, forgetting your worries for a moment. Well, this is exactly what Tata Motors has in mind with its SUV Owners United League program or SOUL. So the last 3-4 months have been quite hectic. Shoot schedule and with the new website layout coming up, it's been quite a lot and I really needed a break. So what better than a soul drive and the companion of course is the Tata Safari with me. Looking forward to a great adventure and quite a few firsts that I have been promised. On day one, we drove straight for 280 kilometers from Chandigarh to Manali which was the base camp. Next day, we spent exploring Manali and less touristy spots nearby. With that done, we proceeded towards Rotangla. The drive to Rotang Pass has some promising views. It is serene and there is a comfort in just being there and sipping hot tea, just like those winter mornings. So it's been quite a fun-filled experience for us. We covered some treacherous terrains, some awesome roads and I went paragliding. I was literally in the sky. Now, it was also quite a warm-up session because we are proceeding ahead from Manali. We are heading towards Chandratal now and from here the adventure begins. The final stop today will be in Losa. just going on a crawling speed because we have started off-roading and I am quite happy with the way the safari has been performing and there is a slight problem that I face with the low end torque in the normal mode but the difference just when you switch to the sport mode is quite perceptible it makes up for that low end loss and it gives you a good beauty mid-range so you have enough power to take on these terrains Yes, the Tata Safari took all in its stride quite handsomely. The drive modes on the new Tata Safari come really handy when you need that extra thrust from the super refined Cryotech engine on these challenging terrains. And then it has enough ground clearance and approach and departure angles to take on the rough. The convoy was literally marching into the wild surrounded by mountains. Honestly, it felt deserted, but the moment you reach Chandratal, you feel a relishing freshness in the air. The lake is in the foothills of the Lahol Valley. Now, we were off to Losar, crossing Kunzum Pass on the way, which is the highest pass on earth. So, it was a rather long drive yesterday and a challenging one because for the most part of it, it involved off-roading. We started from Manali, went straight to Chandital Lake and then we ended our day here in the Spiti Valley. Here we'll be spending the day in the Spiti Valley, we'll be going towards Skibber and then we'll be going to the key monastery which is one of the oldest monasteries in the Spiti Valley and a beautiful one. Spiti looks different and full of life at this time of the year. Rivers are flowing and the Kaza market is blooming for the longest hour of the day. We first went to the beautiful key monastery and then we came to Kaza. After lunch, we proceeded towards Hikkim to send a postcard to our loved ones from the highest post office on earth. So it's our last day in this Spiti Valley today and yesterday we got the chance to see Spiti Valley in detail. Now we have ended our day in Kibber. Today we are proceeding towards Nako and the convoy, even us, we get a bit tired because of the long drive. But when you wake up to a view like this, it makes up for everything. So we are at the iconic Chicham Bridge and throughout we have covered some treacherous terrains in this pretty valley and I am quite surprised with how the safari has been performing so far. I haven't faced any power issues as such yet and that's sports mode. It gives you that additional thrust on the go and that's very reassuring. Even when it comes to the comfort, we have been quite happy because the seats are well cushioned and even the second row is very comfortable. We are travelling with a crew, we have five on board and we have luggage. So it's a jam-packed car but it has been performing very well so far. In 
now we were putting up in turkish tents and the entire night was spent chilling by the bonfire and gazing at the milky way galaxy oh boy the sky was so mystical i could have kept staring at the sky the whole night but we were to push early towards chitkul the next day so it's day 6 of the tata motors soul drive and it's been a fun and challenging one so far we are in nako we have covered all kind of terrains from smooth tarmac to broken roads to dirt track and even we off roaded a wee bit but what's very reassuring is the constant support from the tata soul organizing team because whenever there was an issue with the cars or with the drivers the team was always there to help them and to take them out of the situation Chitkul is India's last inhabited village towards China and is quite literally heaven on earth. The valley is very lively and welcoming. We really enjoyed driving through these winding narrow roads and splashing our way across the forest. In Chitkul, we also drove to India's last school alongside the Baspa River where the soul patrons got a chance to interact with the children and enjoy the art of giving. We are back on the road today and we are headed towards Thyog. On the way we have been promised a visit at the Padam Palace a heritage property. So let's see what we have in store today. So I have already told you that the safari has been very comfortable throughout the trip. But what I also like about this car is the features and especially this touchscreen because it's easy to read and it's crisp. And I'm always connected on the go. So I have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and the Connect Next Tech. But then what I absolutely love is this. The massive panoramic sunroof because it gives me a proper view out of the car into the mountains. Safari offers a wonderful mix of comfort, entertainment and connectivity. It is loaded to the gills with modern age creature comforts and my favorite has to be these ventilated seats that keep me cool when the sun is at the top. On our way back to Chandigarh, the Tata Motors team pulled off a wonderful surprise and took us to Jungle Safari in Sonan, giving us the opportunity to have some fun with our SUVs. Yes, the last week has been quite something. We literally went places and the roads leading to them were challenging to say the least. And this is exactly where the safari proved its mettle. It sits very well at higher speeds and is in its element when the going gets tough. Perhaps the best companion one could have got for this iconic Himalayan drive. And the drive itself was a perfect blend of composure and adventure. Where days were spent exploring new destinations or indulging in some fun and exciting activities, making us step out of our comfort zone and push the limits. And last but not the least, it gave us a sense of togetherness with strangers from different parts of the country, lived like a family, dancing and driving together. 